Find sizzling savings at Brookings Auto Mall. We've made a special purchase of 2016 Chevy Malibus. Eight to choose from starting at just $13,995. Details at BrookingsAutoMall.com. Brookings Auto Mall. What's in your driveway? There is a new leader in charge of hundreds of Lutheran congregations in South Dakota. We'll tell you who the new bishop of the ELCA is and her family ties to Germany. Plus, we're tracking a Kelloland man, man's long journey to beat cancer as he competes in today's Sioux Falls Half Marathon. Good morning. This is Kelloland on the go. With all you need to know in news and weather as you start your Sunday morning, we also have an exciting list of boredom busters coming up for you. But first, our top story. Thousands of South Dakota Lutherans have a new leader this morning. The Reverend Constance Hagmeyer was installed Saturday as the new bishop of the South Dakota Synod of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. Hagmeyer will oversee more than 200 Lutheran congregations in the state, numbering 100,000 members. Hagmeyer is a native of Germany who served as pastor of Trinity Lutheran Church in Madison, South Dakota, before being elected to a six-year term as bishop this spring. While the Trump administration is touting a strong U.S. economy, some experts are concerned about the potential of a recession possibly as soon as next year. Now, last week's monthly jobs report showed U.S. companies are still hiring and wages are on the rise. But some ec economists say the ongoing trade war with China and a global economic slowdown could set the stage for a recession. South Dakota weathered the Great Recession of a decade ago better than m many other states, but is South Dakota positioned to take on another economic hit, especially with farmers facing a difficult fall harvest? We'll look for answers in tonight's Eye on Kelloland at 10. Well, hundreds of runners are racing through the streets of Sioux Falls this morning. The Sioux Falls Marathon and Half Marathon got underway from the Denny Sanford Premier Center. This will be Pat Schwabach's 20th Half Marathon he's competed in. Kelloland News brought you his story last week. Schwabach started distance running after doctors told him he had stage 4 non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Schwabach is now in remission. We'll catch up with Schwabach today as he begins a new leg of his journey cancer-free tonight on Kelloland Weekend News. Now, even if you're not taking part in the marathon race, you can still get in on the fun. The Sioux Falls Marathon Expo will take place inside the Sanford Pentagon from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Activities include youth dashes at 11 a.m., 12.30, and 2 o'clock. Well, hopefully those uh, runners aren't dodging a lot of puddles in the streets this morning. Here's meteorologist Grant Smith in the Storm Center. Good morning, Grant. Yes, we had some uh, heavier rain move through right around the time of the start of the marathon, but now it looks like we're just left over with a lot of cloud cover and some sprinkles or drizzle as we head into the afternoon. Uh, but as far as what we're looking at for this forecast, well, we're still on the front edge of a parent low with an additional little piece of that low just off to the west. So as long as we are on the front edge uh, of this pattern here, we're going to have to continue to have the chance Chances for rain in the forecast. Your forecast for today, what can you expect? Morning rain clears out. Afternoon sprinkles or drizzle mainly in the east. So the farther into central to western South Dakota you are, uh, the better chances of just having cloudy skies. Temperatures today in the 50s and 60s this afternoon and more rain tonight into tomorrow and the rain chances continue for a couple more days this week. All of those forecast details here in just a couple minutes. All right, thank you very much, Grant. Well, the Children's Museum of South Dakota is celebrating nine years of operation with a free day of play. The public is invited to explore the museum at no charge from noon to five. The museum is located at 521 4th Street in downtown Brookings. Motorcycle daredevil Cole Freeman will dazzle crowds at JNL Harley Davidson in Sioux Falls. Freeman will perform stunt shows at noon and two o'clock. Beaver Creek Nature Area in Brandon is hosting a Homesteader Day celebration from 1 to 4. There will be pioneer egg demonstrations, a blacksmith, Civil War reenactors, Dutch oven cooking, rope making, candle dipping, and music. Admission is free. Immaculate Heart of Mary Catholic Church in Curry, Minnesota is uh, serving a fall festival dinner from 11 to 1. The event also includes a craft and country store. Dow Rummel Village in Sioux Falls is hosting a Grandparents' Day Festival from 1.30 to 4.30. There will be carnival games, musical performances by Phil Baker and John Mogan, face painting, plus free root beer floats, lemonade, walking tacos, and popcorn. The Sioux Valley Model Engineer Society is hosting a free open house this weekend at the WH Line Fairgrounds. The open house runs from 10 to 4 and includes the largest model train layout in South Dakota. 
You can also check out the new expansion work. The open house is on the north end of the fairgrounds across from the old armory. Grant. All right, let's go ahead and take one last look at your forecast here. You know, we've got the sprinkles or scattered drizzle in the east uh, this afternoon. A lot of cloud cover still expected today, but then once we get to the evening, the drizzle or sprinkle starts to fade out, but you can see a surge of warmer air moving in, bringing us warmer weather this work week. It's also going to bring us some showers, even some rumbles of thunder mixed in there as we go throughout the day uh, tomorrow. So. You know, we're going to start the day off with a lot of widespread rain. The afternoon could actually bring decreasing clouds for the central and western regions. But if you're in the east, you just go into tomorrow expecting another cloudy and rainy day. And that rain will continue to move through as we head throughout the rest of Monday. And then Monday night, we'll see that rain clearing out. And then Tuesday brings another uh, chance for rain. But as far as rainfall amounts, just through Monday night. So this is just today into tomorrow. Most areas getting another half inch to one inch. That's for the area in blue. So if you're in the areas in green, uh, model projections are giving you less than a half an inch. Uh, and then on the higher end amounts, there is some, uh, uh, some evidence there. We could see some isolated spots getting about an inch and a half, and that's kind of centered here in the northeastern corner of uh, South Dakota. So we'll keep an eye on those rain reports and bring you the latest uh, later on uh, this afternoon. And there is a risk for severe weather. We had a same, we had a similar setup yesterday, just a marginal risk. And so that'll likely continue into tomorrow. But once again, just a low risk for wind and hail in the heavy rain risk is also low. The, the tornado threat is basically non-existent here in Kaolam. So temperatures today, 50s to 60s this afternoon with sprinkles or drizzle in the east. And then tonight, the next round of rain comes in from the southwest. A lot of cloud cover. Temperatures are bottoming out in the 50s. And then tomorrow, warmer 70s to 80s because of the decreasing clouds and sunshine. But another rainy and cloudy day for the east, so highs mostly in the 60s to 70s. And then your seven-day forecast continues the chances for rain late Tuesday. And then again, Wednesday and Thursday for the Sioux Falls area. Yeah. Also seeing temperatures warming up to the 70s to lower 80s. Similar forecast when it comes to the rain for the Aberdeen and the northeastern areas, but a little bit cooler with highs topping out, uh, say, in the middle 70s and then uh, sunshine as we head into next weekend. Uh, the Pier area looking at middle to upper 70s uh, for highs this work week. Chances for rain lasting into Thursday. In Rapid City, western South Dakota, similar forecast rain lasting into Thursday. But next weekend, looking at sunshine returning to the area. Thanks for joining us for Kelloland on the Go. You can get up-to-the-minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. Have a great day.